I would say about 90% of the people that are here come from a similar background and they all share one thing in common and, and that is that they were in prison at one point. Like people that are coming out of prison a lot of times they feel like the world is watching me because I still have this stigma like over my head or you know I still feel like I'm an outsider. Yeah. I love you baby. I love you too. You know, you see a lot of guys that come out and right out the bat they're homeless and they're trying to f find, you know, a, a place of stability. Um, and then that's, that doesn't even include finding employment. Hickman's Family Farms is probably the largest egg producer on the West Coast, producing about 10 million eggs a day. We have the group of inmates that are currently working at Hickman's during their incarceration. When those inmates get released, we try to do whatever we can to retain that employment. And a lot of those inmates that come out end up here in, in our transitional living community. Yeah, first one in here. I still have your old keys at home. Let's just come see. Oh, it's cute, Mom. Huh? It is cute. The year and a half before I got arrested, I kind of took a, a turn for the worst. I've always been responsible and handled my life very well. I took care of my responsibilities and my kids. Uh, the person I was before was very angry, very mean. Um, just selfish and self-centered. You know, doctors prescribe prescription painkillers for just about anything, and I was really in a depressed state and got addicted, and I, I caused a lot of damage. Going to prison that time definitely opened my eyes to needing to fix the mental health problems before everything else. I'm still very nervous and anxious, and I'm shaky, a little overwhelmed, but it's all good feelings. I'm happy. And I just want to start rebuilding. What is your favorite part of this apartment? The bed. <laughs> it's the favorite, my favorite part of the apartment is the bed. While I was incarcerated, I worked for Hickman's. Um, I worked a retention job. I ended up leaving with over $10,000. Leaving prison with money was huge. I even sent child support home when I was in prison which is something I could not have done without this inmate program. When I ended up getting employed in prison with Hickman's, uh, my ex-husband had needed help with the bills. And it felt really good to be in prison and to be able to say, I can pay those for you. The first moment Aaron told me those apartments were ready, I think my things were already packed. Getting out of prison, your family's a little bit standoffish. They want to make sure that you're not going to make the same mistakes that you made going in and the reason why they were okay with the Hickman housing is because they offer counseling, a work program, it's right there on site. The best support I have are the people around here. There's so many good people here just striving to get their life back. The number one thing that everyone says is I want to get my kids back, I want to get my family back. You know programs like this give them that stability so that they can actually you know, think about how they're going to be a good parent and, and prepare themselves for being a good parent or being a good family member. I think the biggest struggle is with my kids. Um, trying to just let them see that I am reliable, that I'm, you know, trustworthy. I have to rebuild a lot of damage that was there. If I bring someone in here, I want them to be as successful. Like, I want them to go, like, to the moon if possible. I can say to myself like, oh wow, like that person was really worth helping. You know, make good decisions and good things will happen. It's true. Everything has fallen into place. Mine and my husband's relationship. Since I've been out, we actually look for things to fight about and we just can't do it. <laughs> what drives me now is I have goals. I have so many goals and I just, I really, my kids are pushing me. I want my family back. That's the most important thing to me. I have three little boys that need their mom, and they are my drive, they're my motivation, and they're going to keep pushing me to go. So. Oh, and I'm going to cry. <laughs>